before this video starts, I wanted to let you know that me and Moody have released our brand new plushies. Look how adorable they are. They are big and they are cuddly and they are super, super cute. They're really good quality and yeah, Moody has an actual pizza bag that can turn into a hair tie and mine, my unicorn backpack is a key ring or yeah, it has a little attachment so you can add it to whatever you want and yeah, I just love them. Aww. It's super, super cute. They are limited. We're not going to be selling them forever so make sure to check out iamsanashop.com before they are gone maybe forever we're not really sure but yeah I'm, i definitely got quite a few of them myself to make sure that i have them <laughs> make sure to check out iamsanashop.com if you want to get your own santa and moody plushie trade your galactic shards adoptions glormy hound and leo new space gear galactic hoverboard complete tasks and unlock the moonlight moth adopt me came out with a brand new update and we are going to be checking it out. And they also gave me four moonlight moths. So I guess we're going to be making them neon as well in this video. I do have to say that I'm getting a little bit tired of these passes. I've been working so hard trying to complete the pass over and over again so that I was able to get all of the pets in the pass. And when I found out there was another pass this week, <sighs> I think everyone agrees that it's a bit too much. It's too many passes. It takes too many hours to complete all of them. And I just do not want to spend any more time just completing these passes. It's stressful. And yeah, you just want to be able to unlock the pets. But of course, it's not that easy. Easy when you have to spend hours and hours trying to unlock them. It's a little bit too difficult, even with the times two. Today, we're going to be checking out the new update, the new pass, and what it is that you're able to get in it. So first of all, you can just get shards like usual. And it looks like you can get the hoverboard. And uh, yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult to get it. But let's have a look. The moth is right there. The moth. That's the one that you want. They're so cute. I really want to get them. But these tasks are also getting quite boring. I'm so bored of completing tasks. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. I just... I just... I'm sorry, but I'm quite looking forward to this update being over and moving on to something else. I want to see new eggs. I want new eggs to release and adopt me. What do you guys want to see happen and adopt me? Let's have a look. I'm just going to be completing another task over here. I've been completing so many tasks. It is crazy. Thousands of tasks. It feels like I've been completing so far. Completed another one and I should almost be able to complete this one right here. Complete. 30 needs on an un ultra rare pet. Uncommon pet. Okay, there we go. All right. The next thing I have to do is hatch an egg. I'm just going to be completing some of these just to see how much it is that I am able to unlock. I have to open an egg. And for that, I am going to go into the pet shop. I'm going to go into the nursery and get another pet. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Imagine if I actually got a legendary. That, that would be something, wouldn't it? All right, we're going to try our luck with this egg right over here. My favorite task is the one where you actually have to just buy an egg and you get quite a lot of points for it. I wish we could have just more of those. There we go. Wait, I just saw something. Wait, huh? Okay, this is interesting. First of all, we're going to claim this, but this is very, very interesting. I see that Adopt Me gave me four of these Moonlight Moths, but they didn't give me regular Moonlight Moths. So they actually gave me four Neon Moonlight Moths. Now that's pretty cool. So I'm able to make a Mega Neon Moonlight Moth. That is crazy. The amount of times you have to complete the pass in order to get a Neon one is absolutely crazy. And I'm able to make a mega neon one. That is so exciting. Thank you so much, Adopt Me. Now I feel bad. Most of you are not going to be able to get it. And that is okay. It is okay, though. <sighs> Easy for me to say because I already have it. But you guys should not be spending your entire lives trying to complete these passes to get the mega neon moth. Because that is a lot of work. It is impossible. All right. So I need to actually... Oh. I, am, I was supposed to get an ultra rare pet out. Okay, well, um, I, I give up. <laughs> really excited to see what you guys are thinking about this update, though. All right, equipping my other ultra rare pets. Let's go see what it is that we're able to get from the pass. I did manage to complete the last week's pass one or two times, but it takes a very, very long time. It always goes quite quick in the beginning like this, but... Then it just goes slower and slower. I'm really excited, though. We need to check out this moth. We need to see what it looks like. We don't get to see what it looks like when it's not neon, though. But this is what it looks like neon. And it is beautiful. It is so cool. Let's have a look if we can compare it. It looks like the only thing that really changes is 
is the is the color around the eyes? Is that is that the only thing that changes? And I guess there's pink. There's usually pink inside of the wing, but now it's glowing white. I don't know. And also the body looks like... I'm not really sure what it is that's new about this moth. Or, yeah, maybe we should check out the journal. Let's have a look. So this is what the regular one looks like. It's so difficult because it's such a small little picture. This is the neon one. Okay, so we can compare it this way. Let's see. Neon... Okay, so I feel like it just highlights the entire moth. And that looks pretty cool. I like that. But we're gonna have to make this one neon. What do you guys think? Should we do it? Should we just go ahead and do it? Let's go to the neon cave and let's make this moonlight moth mega neon. It was a long time ago since I made a mega neon pet. It does not happen a lot. It takes a long time to actually age up pets to be neon. And yeah, it takes even longer, obviously, to make it mega neon. I am super, super excited to see what this one's going to look like. Of course, we already know that it's going to glow many different colors, but I just cannot wait. This is like one of my favorite pets. It looks beautiful. Let me know what you guys think about this new moonlight moth in the comment section down below and also make sure to subscribe all right let's make it mega neon in three two one go oh my gosh what is it gonna look like <gasps> it's gonna look so cool whoa what that looks that looks really really cool one of the most colorful pets in adopt me let me know what you think in the comment section. This is just really, really cool. I like it. I like it. It looks quite dark, though, and I'm wondering if it's just because it's nighttime and during daytime it actually turns lighter. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? But now you can definitely see what parts of it turn neon in the first place and that it are obviously now mega neon, but quite a lot of it just, you know, lightened up when you did turn it neon. But yeah, I do have to say, I feel like I preferred the neon version over the mega neon version. Hmm. I don't know. It's cool, though. It's pretty cool. I like it. I'm definitely gonna have to try to get a regular moth as well. And I know I'm going to be spending hours trying to get it because I need to complete all the tasks. I wish there was like a combination of mini games and tasks that you were able to do so you can mix it up a little bit. Cause I think we're all getting quite bored of just doing tasks over and over and over again. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section, but that's how I personally feel. I wish that the bathtub vehicle that you're able to actually <laughs> give your pet a bath in the bathtub and complete tasks that would be so cool i feel like there should be more items that you're able to buy in adopt me that you can bring on the go and you're able to complete tasks wherever you are well i guess then you would probably just stay in one spot the entire time but i don't know i just get tired i get tired of doing these tasks what do you guys think about this i i don't know i want a new egg i want a new egg adopt me all right, well, I guess I'm just going to continue um, trying to get uh, as many of these as possible. Now, I'm also making sure to stock up on some of these, the Glormy Hound and the Glormy Leo. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. Really hope you all enjoy it. I am going to try to get these moths. I, I don't know how much I'm going to try, though, because, yeah, I'm, I'm tired of doing this <laughs> three weeks in a row. I'm going to see you all soon with another video. I love you all so much. Going to see you soon. Bye!